what's up guys so in this one i will show you how to create this kind of velocity shake in a light motion so if you want to learn keep watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also like this video so to create this kind of velocity you go ahead and add your clip once you're done you go and add tiles make sure tiles is there make sure that crop is at 1.015 and then you add motion blur and keep the tune on so motion blur tune is at one you can change that if you want so i'll just put this one at one point or let's just go two and then you go ahead and add squeeze so you go here add squeeze like this from here the value first keyframe the value will be at negative 20 negative 0 0.20 that's negative 20 that's the first value right there right so negative 20 you go ahead and move it all the way to the front then you go ahead and put neg uh, positive 10 like so and then you just move a bit further and then you put negative 0 0.10 like so and then you bring the last keyframe to zero like this and then you go ahead and just add simple graph like this the simple graph you add it like this once you're done with that you go ahead and add oscillate so um oscillation there you are standard settings oscillate the angle you will keep it at zero you move the angle to zero frequency you will bring it to 2.54 2.54 like so the magnitude you will go 245 and zero so 245 that's the first keyframe add a keyframe there move it here and then all the way to zero like so and then move it all the way back there um you add the simple graph like this then you go ahead and add this blur here not not the plus one um, you just add the normal one there and then um you can keep it at 150 or you can adjust it so i'll just put this one at 115 move the keyframe there add another one move the keyframe right to the end and then bring the rest of it back to zero then just move it a bit near the first keyframe and also near the second keyframe like so you can go ahead and add graphs on this one so you can leave it out so i'm gonna just add this graph like this copy the curve come to the other one paste it there invert it and you should have the velocity shake down there so yeah cheers and um that's the video see you in the next one